So now let's see how we can work around with Gaussian blur inside of GIMP. So if you want to straight ahead uh, blur out something, then you can use some, uh, a Gaussian blur filter. So to do that, you need to go around onto the filters menu right here, then go around onto blur and over here you can see that Gaussian blur is an option. So if I were to go around and click right here, then you can see that immediately you see the preview of the blur being applied right here. You can change around the side at a size X and Y and right now they are linked together as you can see right here. But if I were to unlink them right here just like this, I can blur it out from one side right here to get some kind of a motion blur on either side as you can see right here. And you can change around the size of the blur according to how you want. You can also go around and choose the different type of filter which um, is different type of blur applied right here and over here you can go around and clamp out the black sides as you can see right here or make it white on the side as you can see right here or keep it none over here so you can go around and clamp it out so that it expands as well on the edge that is so if i were to go around and really zoom in right here then if i were to go for none you can see that it is darker right here clamp then it's simply uh, adds in the same color information black then it becomes black on the side and white is be it becomes white on the side by right here so over here that is what you have and you can also clip to the input index right here as you can see and what you can also do is you can work around with the blending mode right here like let's say for example you can go around and multiply and then you can see that you got the blurriness as multiplication right here you can go around for screen right here as well and so forth so you can go for different blending modes right here to blend out the effect as well or entirely replace it out just like this as well and work around with the opacity to change around the level of the Gaussian blur right here so finally you can see the split view right here to see the before and after and then apply out the effect as you like right here just like this and that is how you can use the Gaussian blur effect inside of GIMP so I hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe